So what are slide supports and do you need them? Heck, do you even want them? Is it going to damage your RV? And the answer is it depends. Hey folks, I'm Ian Baker. Today, we're gonna to talk about slide supports and the correct situation in which you wanna use them. So let's jump right into it with what is a slide out support? And well, it's kind of like the name implies, the idea is that you extend the support, it rests on the bottom of your rack and pinion slide and helps support the slide, helps support the weight from, you know, whether the fact it's a heavy slide from things that are in it or people moving in and out. And the idea behind it is great. It, it makes sense. I understand exactly why a lot of people would want this device. And if you have an RV from say, the early to maybe mid 2000s, it is something that can be beneficial. However, with the advent and the popularity of the slide as it started to kind of come into its own, manufacturers actually built these slide systems to support themselves, which really kind of made these unnecessary. And if we go one step further, what we found is that a lot of people that use them are using them incorrectly and actually damaging the slides, whether it is the slide mechanism, whether it is the wall, uh, but they're starting to cause damage to the slide out. What you'll notice, for example, on this one, this rack and pinion, we have the teeth right here on the bottom. So if you start to move that up, now you may start missing teeth here. It's just not gonna align quite right. It actually kind of relies on some of that weight as well as the seals right up top. If you have a cable slide, if you relieve the, some of the tension on those cables, now you're gonna be in a world of hurt because the, it's meant to keep that tension. You don't want to, to relieve that tension without the system doing it on its own. Same thing with the Schwintech or worm gear style slide. Now all of a sudden it can get out of alignment. And think of it like this. If you were to open up your car door and put a jack underneath it and then just get in and out of your car a whole bunch, what do you think is gonna happen to the car door? It's probably not gonna shut the way it's supposed to. And so that's the way people are using them, which is not the correct way. If you if you want these, if you don't want the slide to bow, the only way you can really use them, in my opinion, is to block up the chassis. Because you don't want the chassis, you don't want that trailer moving at all. That way everything is solid, you don't have that bounce, you're not going to damage the slide. So is there still a use for slide jacks? Certainly. If you are someone that is going to have a seasonal or it's going to be full time, you know that you're going to block everything up underneath that trailer so the trailer is not moving, yes, you can reinforce that slide. But for the other you know, 90% of RVers out there, personally, I'd skip them. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if you do, please be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you know someone that could use this, share the video with them. And if you've had experience with slide out supports, whether it's good or bad, please leave it in the comments section. I always like to talk about it, have the community kind of give some of the feedback so that way it can help further us all in our knowledge. Thank you so much for watching folks. I'm Ian Baker and until next time, we'll see you later.